so good. All right, so right, so this is by request. So um, a few of you have been requesting to look at rural roads, dealing with the problem of speed on approach to bends and just corners and bends in general. So uh, so we'll have a little word picture. So you're done what twenty hours? Okay, twenty hours. Yeah. You've done twenty hours, and you you've got a. We've identified a problem with your speeds on rural roads, particularly with corners and bends. Yeah, my last instructor said I had a problem with it. All right. So and he, he's left the area now anyway, so All right. I, he, okay. he, rec he recommended you to help me. All right, good. So, um, so you've you've done you've done a little bit of rural roads then. So have a sort of tell. Yeah, me I've done. Well, I've done. I've done a bit of driving on them, but said said I wasn't my, my speed wasn't right. Okay. And I was just like, oh. You know, because I know national speed limit, well, on most roads, it's like, you know, it's like 60 for us, isn't it? And and I was just, you know, and and, and then my other instructor said I shouldn't I shouldn't be driving like that. But then I just like, well, at that speed, and I was just like, and then I tried to, I did some more driving, and I was so just you, really wasn't getting it. Are you too fast into these bends, or too slow, or is it... I said it was a bit fast. A bit fast. Okay, mm. so what, what are the dangers of going too fast into a corner? Mm. Well, I might need to, I might need, well, I might need to stop, might not I? Yeah, if you met a tractor. So, what does the highway code say about you as a driver? What is your responsibility, regardless of speed limit? What must you always be able to do? Um, like if a big old tractor come around that corner, um, what must you be able to do, regardless of it's sixty or thirty or whatever the speed limit is? You've got to be able to bring it to a stop. That's it. Got to stop well within the distance. Seem to be clear. Ah. So that's your responsibility to be able to. Oh, do see that. to be clear. Oh. So if you can't see around the corner, just think, what if there was a big old tractor and a man walking his dog? Could you stop within the distance? Right. Well within the distance, seem to be clear. Right. So you can't okay. see around bends, can you? Okay. No, you? sometimes you can. Sometimes you might, if it's like a low hedge or something, you might be able to see something coming and, and then you might be able to see it and then yeah. you can maybe adjust your speed a little bit more if you see that. So that hedge might interrupt your vision. There might be bits of the road that are missing where there could be a man walking mm. his dog, do you think? Mm. Yeah, maybe. So if we can help you judge your speed on approach to bends, would that be a, a, a goal you'd like to achieve today? Get out of yeah, 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 I, I reckon so, yeah. All right, well, we can definitely help you with that. So I'll just I'll show you some visual aids just to sort of show you what we're looking at. So th there's a, like, a bird's eye view of a bends. Can you see that all right? Is that... Is it, oh, yeah. is it all right? Oh uh, yeah. So let's say you're the red car. So your vision, yeah. your view from your driver's seat would be like that. You'd see point A and point B, wouldn't you? That's the line of your seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you wouldn't see the orange car. No. So what that would actually look like in terms of you sitting in your car would be something like that. Right, you? yeah. Where the near side and the off side meet. Uh. And so we call that point the limit point where those two points meet. Does that make oh, sense? Oh, that, that bit and that bit. Where it goes, That's it. Like, it goes across, so you can't see the man with his dog and the tractor just around oh, that right. corner, can you? You, nah. you don't know he's there because your view's blocked by that hedge. Yeah. Yeah. So that's you must be able to stop in the distance. Right. Seems to be clear. So with your limit point, I want you to think of it in when you're approaching a bend. Think of it in three stages. So as you're driving towards your limit point, that bend is quite sharp. That limit point's going to be coming towards you, isn't it? Yeah. You'll be getting closer and closer to that limit point. Right. So at that point, you'll be braking and slowing down. Okay. Right. Then what's going to happen is you get closer to the bends when you get up to where my finger is. What's going to happen to that view? What? Is that going to move, is it? I said your view will start to open. Right. So that's the second stage of what you want to do is match the speed of the limit point. So as the limit point starts rolling away from you, you're at a speed that you could stop within and you just match and go round with it. Right. So you just sort of lightly on the gas, just going round. Like as if you was in a 30 limit following a car doing 30, you're just, you're just lightly on the gas to keep up with it, aren't you? You're right. just keeping up. Keep with you're not speeding up, you're just right. matching it. You just right. match the limit point. Then what's going to happen is you get further around the bend to that view when you sort of finish the bend. Well, if the if the bend stops, then it might um, that limit point will get further away. I suppose. So, so as your limit point starts running away from you, you can accelerate and, and go. So the limit it. point's always there, then, isn't it? It's always there. So you might get other examples of limit points, like can you see that all right? Yeah. Like a hidden dip. 
So where would your limit point be on that road? Is it the beginning of the dip? It is. It's that cre the, fir the crest of the first hill because you can't see what's down the dip. Ah, yeah, so it's yeah. the fir it's your the furthest point of uninterrupted road surface. Ah. So if there was an overhanging bush or something blocking your view, then that bush becomes your limit ah. point. It's this because you can't assume, you can't think, well, there's nothing in that dip, or ah. you know. Yeah. So, so that's your limit point. So, going to deal with it in three stages. So, if you're driving along and the limit point's coming towards you, what are you going to be doing? Slowing down. That's it. And then, how you know you're at the correct speed for that bend? Um, I've got to be. I've got to be able to stop. Got to be able to stop. And as the limit point starts to move away, you'll sort of match it. So that's stage All right. Three. So you just want to follow it and stay with it. So at right. that point you want an appropriate gear. So we're going to slow down. All oh, right. As yeah. the limit point's coming towards you, you're right. braking. Yeah. Then as you get closer to the bend, and the limit point just starts to roll away from you, pick an appropriate gear and just go with it. Just match it round the corner. Oh, yeah. And then the last point, when the limit point's running off, what you get? What can you do then? Speed up. Speed up. That's it. Oh. And then we won't hold up cars that are coming around behind us. We can just get away from the danger. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Any questions with that? Uh, I don't think so, no. Do you want to give it a go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much help would you like from me? Because we, we're going to find some... Well, we should, I suppose you'll see in a minute, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't driven with you. No. Yeah. So you're in a different car, so you just need to get... Oh, no, my instructor had the same car. Oh, right. Okay, oh, that's that's right. He had the oh, same yeah. car as this. Flash motor as well, as my, like, like yours, isn't it? So, yeah. So, how do you want to play it? Do you want to have a go at taking what I've said and applying that to the bends? Or would yeah. you like some guidance from me? I can sort of help you with when maybe to give, start. Maybe a bit of guidance to start with, because okay. my instructor you know, did say I was struggling with it, so maybe a okay. bit of guidance would help to start so with. I'll be talking about the limit point, what it's doing, and I'll instruct you of when to start braking. If I feel you need to be braking more, yeah. then I'll, I'll firmly tell you brake more. Okay. okay. Got dual controls, yeah. So, if, you know, just that's for yours and mine's safety. So we won't go around those bends too far. So if 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 he wasn't responding to my verbal instruction to slow down more, if if we needed to, then I could slow the car. So don't worry about that. We will right. go around at a good speed. Okay. So I will keep you safe. So do you want to get yourself? Um, do you want to get yourself yeah. set up? <sighs> yeah, that's mirrors good. Yeah. Well, can't adjust the extra states in this car. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Have you, well, how, how's your clutch pedal feeling? How should that feel when you adjust your seat? You should be able to get it down without having too much of a bending mini. Feel all right? Mm, feels all right. Do you think I should be a bit closer? How does I can't tell you that. How does it feel? It feels all right to me. Yeah, as long as you're feeling so. If you get driving today and it doesn't feel comfortable, let me know where pull up and we'll get it adjusted. Right. Okay. okay. How about the, how should you adjust your seating? Relation to the distance from the steering wheel, how do you check that? Should be able to get the heels of my palm on the top. Can you do that? Yeah. So it looks it's like a bit far away. Like quite a stretch it. Because mm. that would be quite important. If you think you're going around corners ah. today, if you're like that and you, you're getting into a bend and you need to do more, what would you have mm. to do with your weight? What would you have to do with your I body? Have to move forwards. I, I, might, I might bring it a bit closer then now. That's it. If you're going around a corner, you get centrifugal force pulling you back yeah. into your seat. So that would be really important that you make sure yeah. that you can do that. Maybe my instructor didn't realise that. I was just set it up like this normally, but... What yeah. routine are you using when you do your cockpit drill? Um, oh, D triple SM. Oh. So just remind me, what's, what's it all stand for? Doors, seat, seat belt, steering wheel, mirrors. Good, so yeah, let's get your seat sorted out. Yeah. In fact, I've moved it a bit further forward, I think that's a bit better. Well, I, if I were doing that with my pedal, rather than keep moving your seat and then doing your pedal, if you put your pedal down straight away, hold the steering one, hoik yourself forwards, so then you can just adjust it so you've got a slight bend in your knee, mm -hmm, yeah. and then you get it right oh, the first time. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. like yeah that? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Get a nice yeah. little bend. Yeah, okay. You can reach the steering wheel yeah, no without yeah. stretching. I've always seen you've checked your head restraint. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Yeah, what else do you need to do? Yeah, 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 mirrors are fine. Yeah.
what about there's another S we need to think about, isn't there? Um, oh, oh yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, you must have done that on purpose. You don't put your seatbelt on till I put mine on. Why well, just wait till you put yours on? Yeah. Because whose responsibility is it? Is it my responsibility to put my seatbelt on or your responsibility? Well, it's yours, there? isn't it? Yeah. Because you're not. Would you be happy though if I said, oh no, I'm not going to bother today? No. Would you let me? No. Why not? Because mm, it wouldn't be safe, would it? No. Good. All right. Oh, sorry. So okay. So um, yeah. Get get used to the car. You know, just sort of you know relax. Mm. We're going to go out and look at some bends. Okay. And we've already agreed how much help. Any questions with anything we've said so far? No. No, I just think it's going to be to like practice it on the road and for you to go with me to start with because it's something I struggled with. Just tell me what you can see in your mirror. So I know you did that quite early on. I haven't sort of seen you. Well, did you well, just see? Have you rechecked? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see, I, it still seems all right for me, I'm just checking. What should you see? I said frame the back windscreen with that one. Yeah. See about a finger, about a thumb's width of the car in that one. A little bit more road and sky, about the same in that one. So yeah, okay. that looks about right. Happy with that, great. Okay, so when you're ready, start the engine. Oh, that's right. So before you, before you start the engine, there's a couple of checks you should be making. Are you aware what you should check to make sure the vehicle's safe? Oh yeah, I could start. see it was in neutral and the parking brake was on. Well, at least I hope it was, you drove it here. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Just because some some Mercedes have the handbrake on a button here. You, oh, it's you up familiar? there, isn't it? Yeah, so just so you're familiar, it is a little bit different. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's the camera. Oh, okay. Talking to you, that'll say something. I'll, I'll let that finish and then we'll get going. All right, sorry. All right. Okay, so what I'd like to do, Blair, when you're ready, move off, head towards set, exit, so we're going to turn right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good speed for that corner, right. and the limit point goes up to the Sorry. crest of the hill. Oh, the crest of the hill, yeah. So now if you brake a little bit more, because we can't see around the next corner, brake more, keep left, that's it. Now the limit point runs away, and you can put the power in. Obviously today we're a little bit restricted by the speed of the vehicle. Uh, yeah. What would be good is if we can find a bend without the vehicle in front, then you can just look at the bend and the limit point rather yeah, than the yeah, back yeah. of them. So what are they doing now? They're braking. So if you just slow down, I just think check it, my mirrors. that jogger can have a friend. A what? Oh, oh a yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he ran quite away from his friend because he was a bit yeah, further well, back. He's his Maybe friends. he's upset with his friend. His <laughs> friend is training for the next Olympics and he's like got, got to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a lot more work to do. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. So what we do, should we go and find some more bends where you can actually look at the limit point and not be so influenced by a, a vehicle so we, if we get a bit of uninterrupted road? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So what we do, just for time's sake, I'll find somewhere we can turn a bit and we'll go back and do those, oh, those right, bends okay. again. If you're yeah, yeah, that. yeah, that's fine, yeah. Okay, so what signs have you got coming up here? Oh, it's a giveaway junction. Okay, so at that junction I'd like to go ahead. Ahead. Just 
of the road to the left here, okay? Oh, right. it's a bit of a loop, is it? And then take the next right. We're just head back out of the way we can. Wait, who's got priority here? Uh, no one's got priority. Good. Is that because there's no road markings? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead here. Oh. So in fact, if you just come to a stop at this one, just because I want to just ask you something, just stop for a second. Just to talk, just pop your handbrake on, just knock it out of gear, just for a sec. So that yeah, that junction. Your observations need to be looking a bit earlier there. Oh. As we come up to that, that's why I asked you the question about who's got priority. Oh. I'd be looking a lot earlier there. Oh, looking over to my right bit. Because if there was a car coming from your right, what oh. would you have needed to do? Oh yeah, I know. So I might come out of the driveway, might not they? Yeah, I might have to stop, wouldn't I? Yeah. Well, I might have had to stop, because there's no priorities, is there? So we'd have to like figure it out, wouldn't we? That's it. You'd make eye contact, you'd stop, you'd see what each oh. other's going to do, because as you say, no one's got priority. Oh, so that's right. why I just jumped in there because I, I, I wanted you to look a bit earlier. Oh, all right. Yeah. So now what I want you to do is make eye contact with that, that man in the. Yeah, the I think he's waiting for me. He's got his dog all day. Give it a safe proceed, but just keep an eye on what he's going to do. And if you if you could, if you just give him a little thank you, oh, he's if, he, ma if dog, he makes though. eye contact, yeah, he's looking at his dog. So okay. So we're going to go back and do these bends and the limit points. All right. Thankfully now we've got an. Interrupted view of the road without uh -huh. something might come out of that driveway, uh -huh. then, do. then it'd be interrupted. So, do you want to have a go at this and try that yourself, yeah. or do you want a little bit of help from me? I'm going to just give me another talk through just to be sure. All right, well, I'd like to give you a little bit more responsibility. So, I've only asked you questions and then you can okay. respond. Yeah, okay. So, what's your living point doing now? Oh, it's, it's there and that's far ahead. What do you need to do? If it's coming I'll towards you, what do you need to do? That's it. Slow down. And who are you going to meet around this corner? That car. And who else? Who did we see earlier? Uh, the runner. He might have gone that way though. So slow down. Oh, slow right. down. Yeah. Keep left. Yeah. So a vehicle might be overtaking the runner on this corner, could not it? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's why I want you to always think of what if, what if, what if, the what ifs. So here, what's your limit point doing? Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's running, it's going away. So what away. do you need to do with your brake? i uh, check my mirrors and bring my brakes in. That's it. Could you stop within the distance thing to be clear? Yeah. I'll probably take no uh, gear, so, I think. So there, that's what we want to plan that gear in. Oh. What's the problem with trying to change gear on a bend? Uh, I, I, uh, Don't answer, we're just focused oh, on this. Sorry. So get your speed down for the bend. Slow oh, down, right. yeah. so more. Need to use the brake. And now off the brake. So you don't want to be braking on the bends. Do you know uh, why we don't brake on the bends? Uh, right. Well, I should have done the braking before the bend, so I can then accelerate round the bend, does it? It's all the stability on the bends. Yeah. So if you're braking on the bend, you're shifting the weight to the outside of the bend. You want to have it all done in a straight line, uh, so you can go round smoothly with a little bit of gas, a little bit of acceleration. So what's happening with your limit point here? Well, it's the first route, isn't it? On that, could you on start that? within the distance? Yeah. So we can accelerate. Mirrors, well done. So should we just try that again? Yeah. Have a little go at that. Yeah, yeah. Still so the roundabout. What I like to do is use the roundabout to turn around, and head back the way we just come. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Just slow down a bit more here on approach. Oh. That's oh, too right. fast. Oh. Sorry. I, I, was it too fast? It was too fast. Oh. I'd have been a lot slower there. Oh. Think. Be prepared to stop. Oh. So think of it just like you bend. What we've been talking about. You've got to think. What if? So we've got a pedestrian, she could have just been stepping out as you were coming up too fast. Oh. Little bit of road surface uneven, or oh. loose road surface skids. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at these limit points. What's going on behind? Nothing. What's your limit point doing? It's, it's going away, so, so I can accelerate. Speed up. That's it, so now you can get a nice bit of acceleration. Now your view disappears, so just lift off. And now we're coming back on. you speed up, or you can do. Check mirrors. That's it. So now, eyes on 4B, we're going to get your speed and gear off before the bend. So there it is, start braking, okay. firm up your brakes, keep braking, more, more, keep braking, clutch down, select appropriate gear, I'll give you a second. Okay. Off your brakes, clutch up. There, cars balance, hands, and just light gas, and follow the, the limit oh, point. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, that, nice. So that, how did that feel? Oh, I felt a bit more under control. Try it on this one. Okay, okay so, so you've gone up a gear, so 
good, so we're going to break and get the gear down before the bend. Okay. Like that, and then you've got your hands on the steering wheel, steering control. And accelerate around. Beautiful, excellent. That's it, you're good. What's going on behind? Nothing. View position's slightly wider here, there, just to open up your view. Oh, yeah. Just think there's a jogger on this bend, or a big puddle, or a pothole. Yeah. Because then you'll see him a little bit earlier, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So for a left bend, you can position slightly wider just to open up your view, and for a right bend, you can tuck it in and see a little bit more round. Just gives you a little bit more vision oh, for those corners. So before this speed limit, good, good. Checking your mirrors, well done. Why do you check your mirrors for a change of speed? It's just so I know what's going on. What would you do if someone was overtaking you at that point? Probably let them pass me, wouldn't I? Good. Yeah, good to have that awareness. Should we try the bends again? Yeah, yeah, I think maybe one more time, yeah. Okay, so at the junction, I'd like to go, go ahead again. Right, so, yeah. If you deal with this. And we're back to our one mark junction. So we'll do what we did before, we'll follow it to the left. Oh, you're going to watch me on this unmarked junction, aren't you? Going to watch you. Uh-huh. That's it. So if you can take the next trail on the right. Yeah. And then we'll have another look at it. We'll do it, we'll do it with good observations, good forwards observations. Just ease off. Slow down a little bit. All right. Okay. So now start looking early. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's looks better. a bit better, isn't it? That's yeah. a lot better. Oh, yeah. Well good. So we're going to go ahead. Again. So I'll let you deal with this. Oh, oh cyclists, so oh, they're going to be fun. Ah. Oh. And while you're waiting, is it worth just popping the handbrake? Oh, yeah, on? sorry. Yeah. That's it, yeah. What's the benefit of just popping your handbrake on there, do you know? Uh, um, well, it's easier for me to move off, and I don't roll, roll, I won't roll backwards, will I? Let's deal with these scientists. Are you happy with them? Yeah, I think so. How much clearance are you going to leave? A um, metre and a half. Very good. Or at least a metre and a half. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. At least. More if you've got it to spare. Well, no. Oh, it's a minimum, isn't it? Yeah. A metre and a half, isn't it? Okay, so let's just have a look at these, these little points. Do you want to try this more on your own, more independently? Okay, so think about your speed and the limit point. Think about your gear. Is that a bit late there? A little bit. Oh, okay. I'll try and work this one out. Let me show you to take some speed off before. Do I need to change your gear there? No. No. How's the car feel? Feels alright. Got, got right. a bit of acceleration. Okay. Oh no, this is the one I've got you got me at. This is if I get everything done for it. Yeah, so slow down. I took the second gear last time, so I'll take the second gear this time. And come off That's that it. slurch. Very and good. And then a little bit of Brake more, brake oh, more, brake more. Breaking. So there, I think you need a little bit more speed off there. Just think if you met the guy walking his dog and the bikes, you'd have to reapply that brake. So we'll yeah. work on that. Brake here, okay. brake. Leave it in gear, brake, brake. This is where the gear would go, and then off the brakes, this is where the clutch would come up, and that's where you just lightly put on the power to match the limit. Okay. So that's like on the bed, you're stage two, you're just matching the limit point. Stage three, you're horizontal. So that last one there when I went under the bridge, I was just still a little bit fast. Going. Oh, but I had you, the gear, didn't I? Well, you let go of your brake, so we added a bit of speed because of the hill, didn't we? Oh, okay. oh it was going, yeah, it was going downwards, wasn't it? So we need to counteract. We need to think about the hill and hold the brake until we're at the oh, end. Okay. Just so we don't have to reapply the brake. Oh, okay, yeah. Do you want to try again? No, I think I got that now. All right, at the roundabout, turn right. Oh yeah, there's that change of speed limit sign, wasn't there? Oh, Think about oh, the missed, woman. That, so that's a better time. speed, isn't it? Yeah. Got to be able to stop, won't we? Yeah. In the We've distance, I can see to be clear. Well within the distance. Seems well within clear. the distance. And that means not locking up your front wheels to do it. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So if you can take the next left, we'll head back into the car. All oh, right. Yeah. Think about the system here. Brake. Brake here. Yeah. Get your gear. Clutch up off brake, 
turn it just like just like the bends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just how that's how you want to do oh, it. Yeah. Get it all done before. And then what I'd like you to do is drive forwards into any bay of your choice. Do I need to finish within the white lines? Yeah, that'd be a, that'd be a bonus, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Why why should be finished between the white lines? Just take it back again, put the parking brake on. That's it. So with your, with your gear and handbrake, what's what's the correct order when you do that? Should you go take it out of gear then put the handbrake or should it be handbrake and then take it out of gear? Mm. Should it be the other way around. Do you know why? Because mm. it's you're right, there is a safety. Anything we're gonna go through is there's always like some safety aspect to it. Alright. So can you think of a one safety aspect? Why Putting your handbrake on first. Well, I suppose if safer. I if I brought the clutch up by mistake, then I might go forwards. Yeah. But if I do the parking brake first, then it won't matter. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then just to follow up from your other question, because you asked about do you need to finish in between the lines? I suppose yes. Let's say you didn't. Yeah. Okay, and you left your car, went shopping. What do you think? What? Is that going to impact anyone else if you park in two? <laughs> might might, or might two get days? an angry note on my on my windscreen. Yeah. What if you was in a pay and display car park? Uh, could I get could I get an extra charge for for? for you got going? to buy two tickets. Ah oh, right. If you yeah. go in two bays. Is that right? Mm. Well, if you're out of your bay, you're in two, using two mm. bays up. Mm. It's like people long long distance um, passengers, like long haul business people, flyers. What do you call them? Passengers on aeroplanes. Oh, right. They might buy three seats so they can lay across the middle, but they buy oh. three seats. I don't want to pay for two car parking spaces. Exactly. So, um, yeah. Oh. And if someone parked next to you and you're a bit tight and they you park because be the car park gets busy, how are you getting back in your car? Uh -huh. <laughs> if I'm too close, I might go out of the boot. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, so just everything, like, you ask good questions, everything you ask and just think, you know, there's, if there's a safety reason or how it benefits someone else, how it will convenience or inconvenience someone else, then start start analysing those sort of things because you'll often come up with the answer yourself. So mm. why why do we do the things we do? Why yeah. do people do what they do? Well, I saw that speed limit sign. I didn't see that on the way up here. So, so yeah, as because that, that speed limit changes just before you get to that roundabout, doesn't it? That's it. Mm. So even if the speed limit hadn't changed, let's say it was still a national speed limit beyond the roundabout, oh, would, yeah, you, would you have still gone in at that speed? No, I'd still have to slow down one more. Yeah, because we saw the lady, yeah. didn't we, yeah, it was that later lady on. Now, that if she'd roundabout. stepped out, could you have stopped? Mm. Do you yeah. reckon? Mm, have you done no. an emergency stop before? Yeah. yeah. Well, I did it once before. So do you want to be doing emergency stops when no, someone no, stops? No, no. Yeah, so if you're slow on approach, you just... You, you're anticipating that. Yeah. You've got a bit of wiggle room, so you're not locking up your front wheels. Okay. You're not throwing your passengers through the windscreen yeah, 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 yeah. and all of that. You know, okay. it's just it's a as a passenger, it's it's a bit unnerving when you when you come in fast those those corners. Yeah. Yeah. So, so have you got any questions about what we've we've covered so far? Right, I'll wrap it up. <laughs>